Today we're heading to a picturesque Russian town that's located about 30 kilometers from where I am in Vladimir. And I'm sure that Tucker Carlson would absolutely love this town. So to start with, I'm going to go pick up my friend Anna, who's going to join us on today's adventure. I'm sure you'll really like her. She's a really cool girl. And also on the way, I'm going to pick up this like wind thing that's going to stop all the annoying wind noise on my camera. Let's go. So it snowed again. That's the thing with spring in Russia. You think it's springtime and uh, winter doesn't want to go away and this happens all the way up until the beginning of May sometimes. Those of you who live in places like Canada or in North America, you know what it's like. It's pretty crazy, right? Spring arrives, you have a few really nice days and you think everything's brilliant and uh, wow, you're just so happy with the weather and the sky looks incredible and you feel like summer's on the way and then it's minus 10 and, uh, <laughs> and snowfall again and you're like, oh man, back to winter again for a few days. Hopefully this thing is going to resolve the sound issues that I've been having with the wind lately. Let's give it a try. So I've just seen something funny. This is so similar to my suitcase. I lent my friend and he says he can't find. Just waiting for my friend to come outside of her house. And uh, I've noticed this at the end of the road. Let's go and have a look. This is the worst time of year in Russia, the worst time. Well, in fact, probably in like another couple of weeks, it'll be the worst time when everything is completely melting and just looks awful. So here we've got an electrical like station. So I guess it's giving power to all the houses. And uh, is this like a fishbowl of atoms or something? Let me know. At first glance, these may appear to be climbing frames, but they're not. And this is interesting. It says you're not allowed to walk your dog here. I wonder why not. It's a shop basically so basically it's called a lavka which is like a kiosk but it's basically a shop let's go and have a look inside Check out this. So this is just inside one of the houses. I love it how they they're so patriotic here. I could be potentially trespassing here. They've come inside a gate, but look at the back of these houses. So cool. I love the architecture in Suzel. They're all different types here. So this has been redone, and you'll never guess what this building is, or you might even see the sign up there. But look at this one over there. So look, they're not even allowed to put the sign up here because the building's old and so they forbid them for actually putting the sign up. Interesting, right? And then next door, look at this, the contrast. So this is what it's like inside KFC, guys. Here's a picture of the source book. I don't know what this is. Some sort of pagan signage. And this is what it looks like inside, man. Right? Not like your typical. So let's have a look at the fair. How beautiful does the fair look, guys? Now, I'm not going to buy anything from here because 
basically it's all the same things you can buy in, in Vladimir but for 10 times the price. I'll just show you what we've got going on here. We've got some gingerbread and we've got like a honey fermented drink and some different teas and then we've got some honey as well and jams and then we've got pretty much the same things here. These are just like gingerbreads look with a coating it says Suzu on there. The look how nice some of these are look this one's for the 8th of March for International Women's Day and then believe it or not we've got the same thing here this is all just the honey fermented drink so look at this these got all like cuddly toys and stuff and this thing I actually bought from my mom she's got this at home mom are you watching this that's so cool isn't it I don't know what it's for Чем связан с Россией вообще? Это как? Ну, вообще, мне кажется, это черт. А, да? И, да, и это, мне кажется, начальник надевать, чтобы тепло сохранялось. Ой, и тебе нужно вот такое, тебе очень пойдет. А, да, да. <laughs> да. Ходить да, по улицам надо вот так одевать. О! Вадь, смотри! Маш! So, let's just have a look quickly. Got some different souvenirs. Да, Свете. And then what else have we got? Some boxes and stuff, loads of these are very traditional traditional Russian gloves. <laughs> these are the most modern gloves in Russia. Oh So we'll just quickly go past it all because my friend's gonna get so bored of me just uh showing all these things like she's gonna be standing around watching what is this it's like some sort of oh i think it's for your neck yeah. not neck no ah, good year good year to... na golova, ah, na golova. Ah. Ah, yeah, mm -hmm. uh -huh. so i stand corrected we've got lots of socks here if you're in russia you need these socks although i don't really like them that much who knows who this dude is Oh, look at these, let's spin them. I'm going to spin it, it's going to break. I've seen something cool. So look guys, we've got loads of like these places selling all these things. I'm not going to go to every one because I've seen it all a million times. I know you haven't seen it, but he's just repeating the same things basically. Most of these tourists are from Moscow. So guys, you might have seen these prisoners with tattoos and they have kupala at the top these are domes so i always get the name wrong it's kupala so basically a dome if you go to prison for a sentence you put one dome on you and so when you see these people these prisoners with loads of domes it shows the amount of times that you've been to prison do you fancy getting yourself a russian doll Is that <laughs> oh look what we've got here So today I'm walking with one of my friends. Her name's Anya. I know you're all going to say hello. I love Anya. I want to marry Anya. Tell me about Anya. How can I write to Anya? I love Anya. The architecture in this town is incredible. It's just like a typical Russian amazing beautiful Anya. What's this place here? So look, they're selling glintwein. You know, the mulled wine. So all of Suzuli is picturesque and even the buildings that are not picturesque are turning into picturesque. Don't know if you can see the domes over there. We've got some sort of a fire station I think as well. So virtually every building in this town is either a shop, a guest house, a hotel. When I first came here about 20 years ago it was already a, a beautiful picturesque town because Suzuli is part of the Golden Ring and it's probably the most beautiful town in the Golden Ring and the Golden Ring is like a, a, a circle perhaps of a, a route of uh, towns that was something that was thought up in the Soviet times as the towns that all kind of connect to each other that resemble and uh, kind of like conform to old Russia and um, I know there's a lot more history to it than that but that's what it's all about and Suzdal is the most picturesque so if you want to buy a, a little building in this town it costs an absolute fortune 
because so many tourists come here. Suzel is like the town of the town of the year, the new year. Festivals were all held here in Suzel. It was shown on the TV and the amount of tourists that come here now all the time is incredible and mainly from Moscow. So if you look here, look, it's got like a old fence on here, but this is all gonna get knocked down eventually. You can see all the bricks and stuff there and there'll be some sort of brand new building, I'm sure, in no time at all. So there's so much stuff here. If I went to every house, then my friend Anya would just kill me because she'd be bored out of mind. But we've got a, a guest house just up there, look. So guys, this is the riverbed here. This is the river that runs through Suzdal and look, you can see the, the horse with the sledge on the back. So this guy is a hotel, one of the famous hotels here and it's so picturesque in there, so incredible. And this right here is one of my favourite restaurants, absolutely incredible. I'll give you a quick show inside because I don't think we're going to eat here today. It's picturesque now, but in winter it's also absolutely incredible, it really is. If you come to Suzdal, this place is called Pushkarska Sloboda. It's like the canon place, not Sloboda, I can't remember what it's called, but it is. Over there we've got an amazing tea room, really amazing with different cakes. And here is the restaurant, I'm going to give you a quick showing of what it's like. So look, the name is Lipota, which means like a beautiful, it's like a flamingo, I've forgotten what the word is. I'll just show you what it's like inside. It's so nice in here, even the toilets are nice, is it And it's so packed today because we've got the holiday weekend. So I'm just gonna quickly show you from the outside. So look what it's like in here, absolutely incredible, right? Look at this, right. Every house here is just incredibly picturesque. I think Tucker Carlson would really enjoy living here. He could buy himself a nice, beautiful house and go for incredible walks every day. Look at that house. That's another guest house. And one of my friends has been there before. And this one next door as well, look. But like, literally, I could just film every single house here. And every single house here is beautiful. But the video would be about 10 hours long. So right here we've got a museum of old Russia. It's called uh, Village Life in Russia and it's a museum inside here of all different buildings and churches and houses and mills and all that kind of stuff. If you come to Suzel, I recommend you to go in there. <laughs> <laughs> Ну вы можете позвонить и сказать, что случилось, и я могу приехать. Я много, я много чего думал в жизни, знаешь, много чего. Я завтра встала и скажу, я не могу завтра за руль. У меня что-то произошло. Где я? Я из Англии. Я фанат Манчестер Юнайтед. Юнайтед? Юнайтед, да. Но не Сити. Not City, no, no. City, United, no, no. City, yeah, City, no, no. Спасибо, спасибо. Old Trafford. Вот. Вот, у вас супер. Ладно, давайте. С праздником. Удачи. Спасибо. Вот почему? Не можете взорвать. Ну да, вот. So guys, we've got the option. We can walk across the river or walk across the bridge. Which one would you choose? So we're going to sit on the, uh, on the tiger. And we're going to go for it. I'm scared. So we've got these things with gloves to hold on to, look. Вы готовы? So are we gonna die on this? Are we gonna die? Oi, here we go. Whoa! I think I need both hands. I'm actually pretty scared now. I don't want to fall off and kill myself. <laughs> Check out these houses up there. How cool would that be in the summer? To have your own little place on the river. Oh 
я готов это кататься. Whoa! I'm gonna fall off. I need my hand. I need my hand, guys. It's so dangerous one-handed. Whoa! My hands are so cold now. It reminds me of in the UK on my paper app when my hands would be so cold they'd be stuck to the handlebars. Crazy. so much fun we made it home we've made it home oh wow my hands are freezing we logic да получается лодчик да нет я извозчик можно у вас быстро по речке прокатить галопом мы не знаем сейчас мы хотим или нет не хотим да у меня слезы нет Ладно. Ну мы по Кремлю вас прокатим с обзорной экскурсией чуть-чуть. Я вам расскажу про город, про Кремль. Сейчас, сейчас обсуждаем. Сейчас секунд. So look what we got for sale here. So here we got Samagon for sale. This is like homemade special brew. We've got a few different like army things here. I know you guys love these badges, right? You serve your badges. See if you can find anything really cool. <laughs> <laughs> and so we've got this lady here just selling jams and stuff like that and uh, the modern dress at the moment in Russia this is like the new modern style is there a sweet tea? it's very nice it's very nice it's like the new modern style no, it's like the old Russian style yeah, it's 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 the old Russian style are you like the old one? Ну, как, когда катаетесь? Когда катаетесь. А, да? А, да. Ну. Вот так я и одеваю. Молодец, молодец. Спасибо. Here's Anya coming now. With our pilot. А, извините, мадам. Может, я тоже с вами покатаюсь немножко? Спасибо. Look at all these people just queuing to watch us go by. Look. Бета, да? Ну, вот здесь вот, собственно говоря, у нас начинается Суздальский Кремль. То есть uh -huh. Московский Кремль все видели, да, наверное, я думаю, представляют. Uh -huh. Вот здесь вот граница Кремля, вот эти вот насыпи, это оборонительные uh -huh. валы. То есть вот все, что внутри них, это и есть Суздальский Кремль. Каркас, то есть сделали дубовые клеи такие, и заполняли камнями. Валы срезали практически во всех старых русских городах. Три да? въезда было, три въезда сгорают башни, сгорают деревянные мосты. И вот когда Кремль после пожара уже восстанавливают, mm -hmm. если что были это купцы, потому что, на говоря, да, сейчас, э, вот здесь с левой стороны э, mm -hmm. То есть наступило определенное 15 века. Э, вот это пример того, как Суздали вообще строились церкви. This is the swing of love. Anya, Anya wants to speak to the horse. Привет. Привет. Oh. This right here is the Kremlin. Doesn't look so impressive from here. So most people think that the Kremlin is Moscow, right? And of course, the famous Kremlin is in Moscow. But almost every town has a Kremlin. A Kremlin is just like a fort, like a castle. 
So just like in the UK, we've got loads of castles all over the place. In Russia, we've got loads of Kremlins. The road here doesn't look so nice since spring happened. And obviously we've got loads of horses walking up and down it. So Anya's found, this is Anya, and Anya's found a new way to clean her shoes. So her shoes look brand new. But we're walking in the most beautiful road today and she's worried that she's going to have to clean them again when she gets home. Poor Anya's so cold after our two trips on the ice. The wind is bitterly cold today and because we've been on that thing on the ice, the inflatable, and then uh, been towed around on the sleigh, it's really cold like my literally my mouth is so my jaw is frozen that i feel like i can't speak so this is a marketplace but because it's so cold today there's not many people selling anything there in summer it's going to be completely packed so look again you can see this is the modern style at the moment in russia these are the modern clothes that people are wearing There's so much to film here, I literally could film for hours because all the streets are picturesque as the Because the door, even the gate is so cool, isn't it? One of these places, this is selling, look, antiques, souvenirs. We've got a huge market down here. It's really, really busy always in summer. Not so much today. And then another church. Have you ever wanted to be like Cinderella? Well, this is a place to come to be Cinderella for the day. The amount of churches here and old buildings is just incredible. I could just keep walking and walking for, for hours. The cow is eating. Oh. So, so they say that in Russia we don't have LGBT. Well, I think we do. This uh, Suzdor, and this is the entrance to the shopping center and here we're going to try and go into this coffee shop no just post mortem yes not we can have it in vehicle Ah, this is a more or только сладкий? Только сладкий, да? А, ну ладно, тогда можно вверху. На вверху, да? Хорошо. Спасибо. So look, we're not going to stay in here because I can't even see my dust is so steamed up. And this is the famous Togovaridi. And yeah, I can't even say... We've got another church here. What do you think guys? Do you think it's picturesque? Do you think Tucker Carlson would like it here? I think he would. Whoa, this is not the place to stand. I'm risking death. you like to live here? Perfect, eh? And then look over here. This is called the world of childhood. It basically, it's going to be a shop. Kids toys. What colour house would you like here? All different colours, all different styles, but all very Russian. I could walk around Suzdal for hours. There's hundreds, probably thousands of these amazing guest houses, hotels, actual complexes of like lots of different, different Russian style houses that you can rent, banyas, 
all sorts of services for people to come and enjoy and it's great to come here for a weekend now obviously I'm lucky that I live in a town that's pretty much you know half an hour's drive from here but most of the tourists that come here usually if they're Russian they're from Moscow Suzdal is full of picturesque guest houses and privately owned houses like these here and you've got absolutely everything from the kind of small old traditional house all the way up to the kind of brand new kind of amazing houses like these I mean imagine having a house like this this here where this car is that's the river so you're right on the river look you've got the monastery over there and look this is literally the river if I fell off here it'd be down into the riverbed and you can see you can walk on the riverbed as well absolutely beautiful and as I said this is just one of a hundred two hundred streets like this so if you're thinking of coming to Russia for a holiday I recommend you to visit this town you get the train from Moscow it will take you to Vladimir and then you can get a taxi or a bus to uh, Suzdal so we have a huge tour complex in Suzdal that's been completely remodernized and it was actually built to house the athletes that were staying in Russia for the Olympics so they would be driven to Moscow to compete and then driven back to Suzdal for the for I guess the Olympic village have you seen any houses here today that you like there's loads of mansions as well but just literally it's impossible to film them all what a view I know this looks miles away on the camera but it's actually quite close it's a monastery and a church inside and it's also got some other history wow just this street alone is really picturesque it really is I should have filmed it from this side to start with shouldn't I wow it's really difficult to understand the magnitude and the size of this place this Kremlin walls with the monastery inside it's a good two three football pitches wide oh actually it keeps going it's probably about 500 meters in length and within these walls were housed German prisoners of war but not just any prisoners of war but actual German officers so for some reason today I've decided to wear socks and the elastic's gone in one of them and they keep falling down and it's so annoying do you find that that sometimes you'll go out for the day somewhere and you'll realize you haven't got the best designed socks for that outing I've just noticed something buried here in the snow on this person's land look at that <laughs> wow it's a good 25 minutes to walk around this place poor Anya is sitting alone in a cafe drinking tea she's so cold from the two trips we had on the sledge and uh, on that ski thing that uh, her face is just frozen so mine's pretty cold too it's, I'm finding it difficult to speak but um, yeah she's uh, had to go sit in a cafe and warm up because she's so cold still walking around this huge Kremlin wall So I do actually have quite a few videos that I made in Suzdal. I'll make a playlist of Suzdal videos so you can watch and see some of the different things you can do here. Because literally I haven't got time to go inside these places today, otherwise it's gonna be like hours long the video. Let's see what's going on here. What are they selling? Loads of different random souvenirs. From fridge magnets to more fridge magnets to crazy size pens and crayons. Music books. That, oh, no. More bits, so I see them now. Which one is the next one? Stalin is above. 
О. Смартфонов не было, играли такие. Да, как мы жили раньше, да? Ага. So this place here is actually a famous cafe that sells the drink Medavucha. And uh, I made a video here as well. Medavucha is a honey fermented drink. So like a honey beer in a way, I guess. Um, med, miod is honey, right? So uh, yeah, it's an interesting video. I'll uh, add it to the playlist. So on the other side, on the banks of this river, we have a monastery. I've also been in there and filmed in that, so I'll put that video in the playlist. And here is the long walk back to my car. In summer, this area here next to the wooden bridge is very popular for swimming with the locals. And it's really picturesque. This whole street up here going past the monastery is really, really beautiful with some amazing houses on it. So annoying, look at the socks. I got my Christmas socks on as well. You can see some people have been sledging down this. This is actually quite slippy. Let me just walk over to the monastery now and show you what it's like there. It's a lot more beautiful in summer, but it's not summer. And you want to see now what it's like, don't you? Suzel is really popular with sap boarding. In the summer, people will come here and this is like a sap board area where you can walk down into the river now shall i walk across the river or walk across the bridge walk across the river walk across the bridge i'm walking across the river and my stupid i honestly have no idea if it's safe to walk across it or not am i gonna die maybe i should walk across the bridge eh i'm chicken i am chicken but i could just see a bit of ice down there look that looks like it's kind of breaking so I thought, yeah, I'm not going to risk it. I could do with a rubber band to hold up my socks. That's something I'll take on my journeys in the future. A few rubber bands and I can hold them up in emergencies. So this is another one of those picturesque streets. And you can see here, it's got a phone number to call if the door's locked and it says Gustavoy Dom, which means guest house. In summer here, this guest house alone has this incredible view of the Kremlin some beautiful trees, the river in between to go swimming in, it's incredible. And you can see here's a guest house as well and they're selling these, look, these Samovari. Samovar is a Russian kettle. And you can see they're probably making all these things from metal or iron. Have we had some sort of festival? This looks interesting, doesn't it? What festival is this from? So this up here is the men's monastery and this the white one is a women's monastery. Wow, spring has arrived. So I'm trying to figure out a way of walking that doesn't involve bending my ankle so my socks fall down. <laughs> Crazy. So this one says, guest house and banya. If you've got a million pounds, you can buy this place over here. Look, it says it's for sale. Oh, a lot more than a million probably. It's got a lot of land with it. With Suzel, you've really got to be here to appreciate it. There's so many amazing views you see with your eyes, but then when you record it, it doesn't look the same. Here, look, there's an advert saying Borsch and Medevucha. Everywhere you turn, there's another cafe, another hotel, and these are on the back roads as well. It's just incredible, it really is. Oh, it's like so scenic and just... You can't make out probably the church over there, it's actually quite near. No, I have filmed inside this monastery before. But let's have a look, see if we can go inside or not. Oh, well, the gate's open. There we go. So I actually attended an event just over here at the end of this wall, near to the church. That was an event, the first event of its type in our region, kind of highlighting old Russian living and old Russian style. And it's pretty interesting. I've got a friend or a lady who dances the traditional kind of folk dances and stuff. And she often invites me to their events. If you come here, you're going to find everyone speaks English. The maps are in English. And then all the menus and all the cafes and all the people you speak to, they're all going to speak English. If you can hear on camera the, the bells going off in the church. 
Oh, it's amazing just to walk around and hear these bells going off and try not to break my neck falling over at the same time. The sun is already going behind the clouds. Get to the car and then drive to a, another couple of locations if I've got time. So I've now completely lost my sock inside the shoe somewhere. What about this for a church, eh? Amazing. Now as much as this church is amazing, I've heard there's an incredible tea place just behind this place. But in Suzdal you really are spoilt for choice. There's just churches everywhere. So it's churches, guest houses, banyas, hotels, tour complexes, museums, just everything. I'm guessing one is a church and the other one is a chapel. But let's head on over and this is the place. I've seen it online. They hold like big tea events and stuff in there. Sorry that I haven't actually been inside anywhere today. Just not enough time. Realistically, not enough time to go inside all these buildings and show you all these places. It's just not realistic. Here we go. Здравствуйте. So look, we've got a kind of tea cafe stroke shop going on. Let's have a quick look. Looks very nice in here, doesn't it? Perhaps I should sit in here and have a, have a cup of tea. So this looks like a really cool place to come for a tea party. Unfortunately, the cafe itself doesn't hold the tea parties. Well, it does, but you've got to organise it with your friends first. So you've got to get the group of friends together to go to the tea party rather than book a place in an existing party, which is a lot more difficult than you think, isn't it? To get your friends together. I need to head over and find Anya. She's been in the tea or coffee shop for a couple of hours. She's probably like high on caffeine right now, but hope she's warmed up. Obviously, as I said, Sewell's Law has just got so much going on. There's, there's way too much to film. So when you come here, you're gonna see a lot more interesting things than I've been able to show you today but check out my Sulzdal playlist because I've been here quite a few times and been to lots of different areas in Sulzdal. Would you like to live here? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. It's